How's it going, everybody? We're going to talk about your favorite app in the whole world, Skyward. So, we're going to set it up, and we're going to kind of look around, just make sure we know what we're doing. So, again, let's go ahead and do a spotlight search. So, so touch somewhere in the middle and drag down. And let's go ahead and find our Sky word. So we're going to hit S-K-Y. Oh, look, there it is. And I'm going to hit Sky Word. I'll touch it. And there's our Sky Word. Okay? So we're going to do something that might have already happened. So you might get this. So if you don't have this, just watch and enjoy. So if you have this and you've never set up a passcode, we're just going to get past this right now. So what is my passcode? I don't know what I set it up as. So I'm just going to hit some... Random letters. Oh, I have four more attempts. Oh, I got three more attempts. I'm getting scared. And two more attempts. This one, someone's going to break it. Oh, one more. Now, keep in mind, this is the only time you're allowed to do this. Do this to your iPad too many times and it will be disabled. And that is bad. That is not good. That is naughty. Don't do that. So, this is the only time you're allowed to do this over and over and over again. We have one more attempt. So, let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So, now we can set it up, okay? So pretty much all it does is if you didn't know the passcode and you locked it out, it just deletes the account and you have to start over. So that's kind of its safety. So we're gonna do this uh, by district name. You can do it by location or postal code, whichever one works for you. But in case you don't have, um, you know, like a GPS on or you don't know the postal code, district name's easy. So we're just gonna do district name together. So everybody touch district name. If you don't know the district name, don't let anybody know. That's embarrassing. Not really. Okay, type in B-E-L-T-O-N. So there's Belton ISD. It's the only one. B-E-L-T-O-N and Belton. We're going to touch that one. Belton. All right. So your login is your first dot last. Okay. And I'm going to use uh, a student account just so you all can kind of see what this looks like. Okay, so type in your first name, period, and your last name. This is not me. And then your password. Now, your password is very specific. This is something that was generated by Skyward. We don't really have any access to change all of them easily. So you got to make sure that you know what your Skyward password is. Um, your teachers have access to it, and it was on that very, very first progress report that you had. They're not on the other progress reports, but that's what that is. It's like a number and a bunch of um, letters right after it. So we're going to go ahead and punch that in. So everybody go ahead and take time to do this right now. If you need to pause this video and let your teacher look up your stuff, then that is fine. Okay. So after we do that, you're going to hit save. And then you get to put in your mobile account. So just for this video, I'm going to pick something. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to do it again. One, two, three, four. So it knows that I'm mean business. And then I've got my Skyward Access up. Print queue. Don't worry about that. Up in the top right-hand corner, you've got settings. Just ignore that. You don't need to worry about that. All you're worried about is student access. So I'm going to touch student access. So every day... Every day you're in advisory class, turn on Skyward and check it. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. You want to make sure that you're making that part of your daily routine. You're going to be one of those people that just, you know everything that's going on in all of your classes. You never have to go, am I failing this or have I turned that in or what's going on? You have the power now to check everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to touch your name. And then you have access to all these things. You've got attendance. You've got a calendar. If there's disciplinary records, you can check those out. Your parents can see emergency contacts. Family. Grade book is going to be the one that you're going to be looking at the most. So look at that. Grade book. Grade book. Whoa, my computer's going cray cray. All right, so we're going to go back to the grade book right there. Okay. And then missing assignments. So if you have a missing assignment, they'll show up there. You can see your schedule, so like if your schedule is changing halfway through the semester, you can look at that, and then details. So we're going to just kind of glance through a few of these so you can touch attendance. We're going to touch that one. 
Okay, and you can see your attendance right there, how many unexcused, excused, and tardies. So if you just don't know how many tardies you have, you can look right there. Okay, very important. You're going to want to come over here to where it says back. I want to touch back. That's how we get to the other screen. So we're going to go back. I'll let you all kind of explore with calendar and discipline, emergency contacts. But right now, we're going to look at the grade book. So everybody go ahead, find your grade book. Yeah, let's touch grade book. Okay. So class is right here, and then you'll be able to see PR stands for anybody, anybody, anybody? You in the back. Ah, just kidding, I can't see you. Is progress report. Okay. And first is your first nine weeks. So we're not finished with this one, so this column wouldn't be bold yet. So the ones that are bold, we've finished those. Okay. So PR, progress report, first, second, those first nine weeks, second nine weeks. EX1 is your final exam, number one, and then SM, yes, semester, and then FIN is for final. You can also go to a breakdown of each one of the classes. So let's check out third period here. You can check out any of yours. And then you can check out progress report one, progress report two, first, first nine weeks, progress report three, no grades posted. So you wouldn't want to check those. Let's just check one of these. And you can see all the grades that were put in, how much percentage each one was, what the names of them were, and there's a lot of stuff there. You can just check all that out. Okay, so we're going to go, remember to go up here to back. Don't hit anything else, go back. And we're going to go back one more time. And maybe one more, just for good measure. Okay, and all the other stuff, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and check one more. Let's look at our schedule, if you needed to look at that. So then you can see your schedule, and once again, you can touch on one of these specifically. And you can see what time that class is, the start time, what room it's in, just in case you had a really bad day and you forgot where you are supposed to go which is also helpful at semester when some of y'all will change classes. You can check that. You don't have to keep getting your uh, schedule printed out over and over and over and over again. Okay, so feel free to explore around in here um, and really check out the missing assignments part. You'll be able to see what's missing. And if you have any questions, ask your teacher or shoot me an email. Thank you very much. Good luck.